Hello good people and welcome to Finance Skills Hub. Here we learn, we connect and we grow. Well, Ghana's Revenue Authority has released a new income tax schedule, which means that the way you calculate your pay as you earn is going to change from 1st January. Last year around this time, we made a template available based on the current rates then. So we put this short video together to see how we can use the new numbers to recalculate the expected income taxes based on the current schedule. In this video, we'll also show you how to capture data from, let's say, a newspaper and then convert it into data in Excel. So join me in Excel and let's go through this together. So this is a copy of the Business and Financial Times and it shows the new income tax rate table. So here we have these numbers set to annual rates and then the rate of tax also here. So basically what we want to do is to capture the data from the newspaper and then convert it into Excel. So that is a learning that I want to share with you. Then we'll update our tax table and then do our calculations from there. Right. So we'll go ahead with the screen capture shift insert in my case. I'll draw over this table okay, to capture it, control C. So this is all in memory. So if I come to my Excel sheet, this is the template that we shared with you. So it's a full payroll. Okay, these numbers in blue can be changed to your staff names and then your basic salaries and cash allowances. The rest of the calculations will kick in automatically. But they will calculate because of a tax table that has the monthly rate. Now, because they've changed the rates, we want to input these two new numbers. You could, of course, type them in, but for learning purposes, I just want to show you how you can capture the data from an image. So from what I copied, I'm going to paste this here. So this is the image that I brought. So this is here, right? Now, in Excel, we get data using Power Query from many sources. So if I come to data in the far left, if you are using a more recent version, Microsoft 365, you see you have the option now to capture data from an image or a picture. Right. If the picture is stored locally, you can use picture from file. But in my case, I did a control C or I copied, so it's stored in my clipboard. Right. So if I choose the clipboard option, it will take some time to analyze. Okay. So once it analyzes this, sometimes if you are lucky, it gets it right. Right. But the areas that have been highlighted will require your attention. Okay. So you can take advantage of it to make some edits. Right. All the fields are editable. So if you click in here, I can accept it, it changes. Right. Now to make our work easier, what we want to do is that we want to ensure that the GHC sign is consistent. So 5880, this is consistent. Okay. GHC 1560. You see this one has been captured with letter O's instead of zero. So you can make the edit from here. So three zeros and accept this one. Okay. So same with this 192,000. So one, two, three. We we'll accept this. And then this one is also fine. Okay. And then we come in here. Again, three zeros instead of three O's. Okay. So once we are okay with this, right, in our active cell, we can insert the data that we've just made changes to. Okay, so over here, let's see how we can extract basically the numbers and the percentages. Okay, so I'm going to insert some columns here. All right now, in Excel, there are new functions that would help you extract data before or after a delimiter. Now, the delimiter we have here is GHC, it's consistent. So I'm going to use text after this is my text. Okay, so I'm saying that all numbers following GHC okay, should be extracted. So I have something like this. Now, these, so when you extract, if you have a number that says to the left, okay, it means the value has been stored as text. Okay, so to convert it to a proper value, you can wrap the value function around this, and then we have the number sitting to the right now. Okay, so if I copy this down, then we should have 
our actual numbers okay so these are numbers for the annual rates then of course I have to divide by 12 okay so I'll just divide this by 12 for the monthly numbers so this now gives us the monthly rates okay now let's see how we can extract the percentages same method but this time around we are extracting it before a delimiter so we are using text before so text before our delimiter is a space so if you look at the space before the PR the percent okay we can use that one to extract what is expected is that because this is nil it has no space it's an outlier we are going to get an error okay we can put the value before this one as we did this will still be an error but it's fine we put a zero after that okay so I'll copy this down now we have our percentages right but in the table they have to come in as actual decimals okay so in Excel we have to divide this by 100 so I'll put this 100 in the cell copy control C okay highlight these numbers control alt V is paste special and then I will divide this okay by 100 so basically I've just divided all these numbers by 100 to give me the percentages okay so these are my new rates and then these are my numbers so let me highlight this in blue these are the ones we are copying okay so I have these two so I'll take this hold control go down copy okay then I'll come all the way here and then paste control shift v or control alt v v so you can copy and paste the values using control shift v in a recent version or you can use control alt v select v so basically you're pasting values so now that these numbers are in these numbers would automatically help us calculate our cumulative chargeable income cumulative tax and differential rates so all our calculations will come from this table right we've made it flexible so that if these numbers update you don't have to actually rework the formulas you just update these parts if you recall from the previous video we actually named this part cumulative okay and then this part the differential rate okay so if you put in any number this is taxable of 2000 what's going to happen is that it takes the number okay compares it with the cumulative thresholds okay if it checks true it will go ahead and then subtract the cumulative thresholds from it and what is left is now multiplied row by row by the differential rate okay so that is the formula it is the same formula that has been used here in this table so if you come to the table all the areas in blue okay can be updated with your staff names the grades, the basic pay and the cash allowance which gives us our gross salary okay then from here we calculate the select contribution from employee which is 5.5 percent optional third tier or provident fund this has been set to 10 percent you can change it so this when we subtract these from gross salary we get our taxable salary now in column k that is where the pay is calculated so the formula I showed you earlier is now calculated for each taxable figure for each employee. This is a table, so it will copy down automatically. Now from here, we can now subtract our loan repayment salary advance can be subtracted. Okay, then our net salary is now our taxable salary minus all these numbers to give us our net salary. Right now. The column that follows, column Q and R, are employer contributions. Okay, this doesn't actually affect the net salary calculations, but it is contributions from the employer to help us calculate total cost to company in terms of payroll. So, the gross salary plus our SNET contribution and then our optional third tier, which is provident fund, would come will calculate our total cost to company. The rest of the details are bank details, right? So you can fill in the numbers that you have. So bottom line is that if you update these numbers with the new values, okay, it should automatically calculate the payroll section on PAYE. I understand there's discussion to review the thresholds. If the new numbers are released, you just have to come here and then just update 
it will kick in for the rest of the month. So I hope you enjoyed the learning. So the template will be made available with a download link in this video description. Please share your comments on our YouTube channel. We'll be happy to hear them. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. If this video was helpful and you would like to receive more of these videos directly on your WhatsApp, you can send ad to this WhatsApp number. We'll add you to our broadcast list so you receive our videos directly. You can also visit our YouTube channel, Finest Skills Hub. All our old videos are here. Please subscribe for notification of new videos or connect with us on any of these social media handles. Thank you so much for watching.